Okay, welcome to another short video tutorial on the NNXT in Reason. I'm Dan Helford and this time we're going to be looking at setting the pitch of samples uh, that you have imported into the NNXT. So let's get started. So, uh, as you can see here in the NNXT we've got the rooster sample which I uh, imported in the last tutorial. And uh, if we take a look here at the keyboard at the top of the sample um, info screen you can see that the C3 key here is highlighted slightly uh, with respect to the other keys. That indicates that that is the root uh, note of the sample that we've imported i.e. if the C3 is pressed then the sample will play back at the original speed and pitch so we'll just demonstrate that Okay, so that's the rooster as it was originally intended. Now, if we play that same sound um, up one octave, you can hear a corresponding increase in speed and pitch. And likewise, down the octave. Now, if you want to alter the root pitch, so for example, C3, you wish to play back the sound uh, either slower or faster than originally intended, uh, you can move the root pitch by clicking and excuse me by cl clicking and dragging it with on the Mac the Apple or option key held down or on the PC with the control key held down so we'll just move it up an octave and then when I play the C3 there you can hear that it's playing back uh, the rooster down one octave because C3 is now one octave lower than the root note. Um, and again, if I move the root note up to C5, C3 will now be two octaves down. And so on. So I'll just uh, reset that for the moment and we'll just zoom out. Um, so that is one very, very simple way of changing. Uh, the pitch of a sample on a sample on any particular note. Another way of manipulating the pitch of the sample, which is just as easy, is to use the range of uh, pitch setting controls that we see at the bottom half of the user interface here. So I'll just zoom in on those. So you can see here, uh, this little pitch box out uh, contains a pitch bend range, an octave, a semitune, and a fine tune control, and something marked K track, standing for keyboard tracking. We'll ignore that for the moment, just zoom out a little bit there. So we have the sample at the moment, and you can see that the octaves, semitones, and the fine tuning uh, are set uh, at their normal position. If I were to reduce the octave control by two or three octaves, just zoom out and pop up to the top here, play back the sound on the C3. You can hear that it's been transposed down by three octaves. And likewise, if I was to push that up four octaves, very, very fast, very, very quick high pitch performance. Now semitone shift, we can take it down or up by any given number of semitones or indeed fine-tune it in cents plus or minus. Uh, the keyboard tracking determines how the uh, movement up and down a keyboard affects the change in pitch um, for a mapped sample but that's not relevant for your particular assignment um, nor is the range of pitch bend but it simply determines how many semitones um, the pitch will be increased or decreased at the furthest extreme of the pitch bend control. So there are two very simple ways of controlling the pitch, either by changing the root note at the top here, or by using uh, the controls in this pitch box out at the bottom.